All right, tonight's story is called The Boy with a Sling. Long before Mary or Joseph or Jesus were born, God said to Samuel, his priest, put oil in your horn and go now and find the Bethlehem boy I have in mind to be king of my people someday. It was to the home of Jesse that Samuel went. After meeting and greeting his sons, he asked, are there more? And so Jesse sent to the field for his youngest, David, the shepherd boy, handsome, and strong. God said to Samuel, you are looking for one to be king. This is he. Take holy oil, anoint him for me. Nobody knew except God and his holy man Samuel what this would do. Alone on the hills he had to keep lions and bears from stealing his sheep, and the Spirit of God gave him such courage and might that the wildest of creatures he dared to fight. There was a time there was at this time a long war. The Philistine army and the Israelites under King Saul camped on two mountains. Each morning, a Philistine giant, Goliath of Gath, came down in the valley of Elah to call, Is any man there who will fight against me? I shall chop off his head and cut up his body like bread to toss to the beast and to the birds. Who will dare? Goliath the giant put fear in each Israelite's heart with his shout. His brass armor clinked, his long spear made even the bravest men doubt that he, any could fight him and win. One day, the shepherd boy David came with cheese and some bread for his brothers, who fought in Saul's army. Like the others, they ran when Goliath came down. When David saw this, he said with a frown, Goliath makes fun of our God? Does no one believe that the Lord takes care of his armies in need? I will fight this giant myself. King Saul heard of David's brave words. He sent for the boy and smiled. You are hardly more than a child. Goliath knows all about war. What are you offering for? Said David, out in the field when either a lion or a bear tried to steal my father's young sheep, my God helped me fight with him there. I know in this batter, battle God will shield and deliver me still. Saul put his armor on David. Here is my coat of mail, my helmet, my very own sword. Go in the name of the Lord. But Saul's armor was heavy. He fell. I cannot wear them, O king. I am used to only a sling. With his sling and his shepherd's crook, David stopped to search at the brook for some stones. With these in his bag, he went on to the place where Goliath of Gath made the Israelites tremble in fear. Who is there? roared Goliath. His shield bearer stood before him, but he was still able to see David, the shepherd boy, and with a sneer and a laugh that was cruel, Goliath drew near. Why do you pick such a boy for this fight? Am I but a dog to be chased with a stick? Come, I will throw all your bones to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David reached for his stones. Your spear is sharp and long and strong. Your shield is great and heavy too. There is one reason that I came. You mock the Lord and in his name, I have power to conquer you. David's hand dipped in his bag before Goliath had time to see. He put a stone in his sling and whee! It hit the Philistine in the head. He staggered, then fell forward. Goliath was dead. David ran with the glorious shout and took the giant's heavy sword and cut his head off. Soon the word spread through the Philistine camp. The men raced hard to get away, but the Israelites were close behind and many Philistines died that day. Triumphantly, they marched to bring the battle news and Goliath's head to Saul, the waiting king, who said, Your strength from God, O David, wins Israel this victory. My army needs such bravery. From that day on, young David stayed at court with Saul. 
who knew he needed a captain who was strong to lead his men in other battles too. This army training helped him grow to be in time God's chosen king. He who once had been a boy who killed a giant with a sling. That end. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.